A family member, 34M, just confessed to me, 25F, that he has been in love with me for years. Please, I need advice on what to do next. I, 25F, had been staying with my distantly related cousin, 34M, second cousins, for a few months. I left my original hometown to get away for a while after a hard breakup, and my cousin popped into my head as someone I could stay with. He's always been a close friend to me since I was little, and I truly only started really acknowledging him as my cousin recently. Beforehand, I had always called him a friend because we met as friends first when I was 8 ninths and he became good friends with both me and my older sister. It was only revealed that we were related a few years after we had met. A little background on our friendship, he's always been someone that I could rely on. He was a socially awkward guy, and I was a weird girl, so despite our age difference, we got along well. He was really close friends with my sister as well, so we would all hang out together from time to time. I always felt like I could be myself around him, and I never really felt weird. My family never had a problem with him either, whether it was me hanging out with him or going to stay with him recently. But I can 100% say, there were never romantic feelings for me involved. It was purely friendship and nothing more. I thought it was the same for him too. But one of my flaws growing up and even now was always me being very naive about everything. So my time staying with him was up and I was ready to go home. I hopped on my plane, said my goodbyes, and when I turn my phone on, I see that he's sent me a long confession letter saying that he's loved me for years, even since I was younger. In my culture, some people say it's okay to marry your cousin, which I totally do not agree with. Most of the younger generation generally stays away from this practice. There are some age gap relationships as well, but again, I am against those and feel gross thinking about them. Just reading his confession, it makes me feel, I don't know, sick, almost violated. He was so much older than me, as well as a family member. And I feel deceived as well. If I had known this beforehand, I don't think I would have stayed with him at all. I don't know what to say to him, if anything. I was hoping to go back and visit him again, especially because he is taking care of one of my pets for me. But now I feel really uncomfortable. I'm sitting in the airport during my layover with this sick feeling in my stomach. A part of me blames myself for not seeing this earlier and letting myself get into this situation. What do I say or do next? Edit, for clarity, my cousin did say that he understands the family thing is weird. And he did say that he knows I have no romantic feelings towards him. I guess I'm just confused on what to say to him and how to approach it. To me, if it was clear to him how I felt and if he knew it would make me uncomfortable, why would he still say that to me? At some point he must have an adult in love with a child, that's all kinds of wrong. Question, so you've been friends since you were 8 ninths and he was 17 18? How were you friends first before realizing you were second cousins? Dude has been creeping on you since you were a child and he was close to being an adult. That's gross AF and you need to stay clear of him. Edit, hey op, just had a thought. Was your second cousin the one to strike up a friendship first when you were 8 ninths and he was 17 18? Because I have the distinct feeling that he probably did, which means he was seeking you out from when you were a child. You should get your pet back. Trust yourself. I feel the same you do, Though I am not really part of a culture that frowns upon second cousins getting together in a romantic fashion. However, your gut feeling and the age difference, which you disliked and which I personally perceive as grooming, even if he didn't premeditate it, tells me you should just keep an appropriate distance from the dude and get on with your life. Really don't worry about it. You do you. Ignore the creepy 34-year-old second cousin. My, 26F, fiancé, 28M, revealed he was the one who inappropriately touched me and gave me really dark memories back in high school. Throw away. I'm engaged to my fiancé for the past four months now, and our marriage is near approaching when he finally broke the whole story to me. I was 14 and he was 16 when we attended this party at my close friend's house. We were already in a relationship at that point. Note that he was manipulative emotionally and tried to make me closer to him till then, 
and I ended up in my friend's room since I'd already slept there a lot of times previously and decided to crash there for the night. What happened that night? I remember someone inappropriately touched my genital area while I was asleep and when I immediately woke up I could see it was clearly him. If you'd asked me the very next day, I'd have swore a 100 times out of 100 that it was him who touched me, but he convinced me the next day he was not, and I really have no idea how but I believed him. I talked to him about him being manipulative to me emotionally then and he apologized and we took some time off and resumed our relationship. Since then he's been great, kind, caring, loving and compromised a lot. I started my college late because of some parental issues, and he basically paid my way through college paid more than double of what my parents did, and never made a show of that. Suddenly, a few days before marriage he drops this bomb, and it just takes me back to the time we took a break, how many dark thoughts I was having, unsure of myself, thinking I might been insane since I was so goddamn sure it was him but he outright denied it. He says he's sorry, and that he wishes he told me sooner. At this point I don't know what to do, if he can convince me that my own eyes lied to me. What else can he convince me of? Am I willingly entering a trap by getting married to him? I don't know what to think, what to do. Update, I'm postponing the marriage and getting therapy at the bare minimum before making the decision. This advice sucks y'all. He touched her while she was unconscious and then convinced her to doubt herself and that it wasn't him. Then he waited until after they were engaged and are about to be married to drop the bomb. He knew every day what he did. I don't give a shit if he's grown. Are you okay with spending the rest of your life with someone who assaulted you and lied about it? Can you look him in the eyes right now and not think about what he did to you? Can you trust him knowing that he knew the entire time and made you doubt yourself? It, hey thank Thanks for gold. You're right. I'm putting off the marriage until I get therapy and know better, I was so goddamn ignorant. It sounds to me like he's an amazing manipulator and liar. I wouldn't be able to believe a damn thing he says after that bomb was dropped. Let alone marry and possibly have a family with him. I think you need to look for a safe way out up. If you guys get married, it is possible his treatment of you could worsen because he thinks he has you locked down. Who's to say he won't attempt to do that again? Please don't force yourself to spend the rest of your life with your abuser. You're right. I'm seeking therapy and postponing the marriage until I know how I'm feeling about it, thank you. I see a lot of people suggesting he's grown and apologized and this could be water under the bridge but I disagree. First the timing, why didn't he disclose this before the engagement? Wouldn't you want this info on the table before you agree to marry this man? He waited until you're already in pretty deep as you say your marriage is near approaching. Then the act itself, sexually touching an unconscious person is assault because they cannot consent. And then when you wake up and confront him, he convinces you that you're wrong, which is another form of manipulation. He lied to you, convinced you to distrust your own experience so that he wouldn't face the consequences of violating you. This is serious. And you're absolutely right to ask what more he is capable of. These are red flags you should address before marrying him. Or they're red flags that show you shouldn't marry him, he's a sexual assaulter and has no problem gaslighting you. He's been making you doubt your own mind and lying to you for literally years. He sexually assaulted you and lied to your face about it. How are you even considering staying with this man? What he did was insanely wrong and he knows it. He assaulted you. Then made you think you were crazy when you were right, gaslighting. Do not go through with this wedding. If he was sorry he would have owned up to this way before this point. Just the fact that he assaulted someone, you, is enough of a red flag. Please seek therapy and cancel the wedding. I'm definitely seeking therapy and the wedding is being postponed at the bare minimum. All the gaslighting and manipulating comments are making me look at him in a completely different light at this point and I don't want to look back and regret walking head first into a fucking trap. Friend, 35F, had drunk sex with me, 25M, and says trust is gone. I went over to hang out with a friend at around 11pm, I work third shift so I usually am awake 5pm to 10am. I get over to her place and she makes me a drink. We talk. She makes me a second drink and at this point I am drunk. She was drinking something also but I don't know her level of intoxication. I went to use the bathroom and then decide to hop in the only bed in the house, with no one in it. 
and pass out. I wake up at some point to her fondling me. I was still drunk but not as much. She was saying I want you. I want you to fuck me. Etc. Now, had I been sober, I absolutely never would have had sex with her. She's like a sister to me. Well, we have sex. Even during sex, she was telling me to do different things, go down on me, etc. I said that I was about to finish and she responded finish on me. So I did. This is relevant info because it really made me believe that she wanted it. We then had sex again right after and it was pretty much the exact same thing. Keep in mind, if I had a girlfriend or wife who did this to me I would be okay with waking me up for sex. Even if I was drunk. And I wake up the next morning, I remember what happened and was like, shit, bad call on the both of us for doing that. I leave and I text her that I got home safe. I didn't want to make her feel bad so I said home safe. Had a great time. I figured that would allow me to transition into the conversation of we shouldn't do that again. More easily. I really didn't think of it as a big deal. I don't hear back from her. I text her two more times, a few weeks apart saying haven't heard from you, are you okay? Well. She finally replies with what says why did you do what you did, you've broken my trust with you. Just so you know, I can press charges against you. It should me thinking what the fuck. So I messaged her saying what I stated above. The thing is, I realize that what happened was a mistake but I definitely don't view her as a rapist or anything. As I stated earlier, had it been a wife or girlfriend of mine, I'd have been okay with them waking me up for sex even if I was drunk. I guess I'm fearful of the whole if you get accused. It's just as bad a looking guilty thing. I know that I didn't do anything wrong. And her claim of me breaking trust is fucking ridiculous because she initiated it and completely said things to make it known that she wanted it. The only reason I can think of for her doing this is because I am very open with my sexual partners and she might be fearful of people finding out. But of course I would be okay with keeping this to myself. Other than that, I just don't know why she would do this. I'm seeing a therapist now. I guess I just needed to vent. Uck. Hate this. Edit. What should I do? I'm lost. Sounds like a good person to cut out of your life. You're not wrong but their family friend who goes to all family functions. Uck. I was in a similar, but not identical, situation as I was reading your post I was like she's gonna accuse him, isn't she? And then yes, she is. She wanted to fuck you but she didn't want to admit that herself, so she did it and then dissociated herself from it emotionally, in her head it was you that made her have sex with you. It is called projection. What to do? Zero. Talk to a lawyer. One. Do not talk to her. It is only going to make things worse. Two. If you do talk to her face to face, record the conversation even if it is illegal, because she's going to lie about what was said anyway. Three. Keep archive of all the messages you two have exchanged. Four. Cut her out of your life. 5. Do not try to apologize. Apology is confession and it will confirm her worldview. 6. Stick to your guns, have the byline ready, she got me drunk and it was she that initiated sex, and it was consensual on her part. Say it the same way every time she raises the issue in a public space, like a group chat. You need to ask a question or your post will get removed from this thread, so edit one in. It sounds like either she was so drunk she doesn't remember what happened other than that she woke up and realized she'd had sex so she assumed you instigated or she regrets making the move on you while you were so out of it and she is covering her bases in case you decide to claim that she assaulted you. Either way a sucky situation and not a good friend. Anyone can get drunk and have bad judgment but you take responsibility for that you don't turn it around and blame the other person. Yeah, I didn't really think of her not remembering. I'm just so baffled. I put in a question. Thank you.